to start with the strawberries. We are going to cook down our strawberries and our sugar. Okay, we're going to cook this down until most of the liquid has evaporated because you don't want it all watery. It's probably going to take about 20 minutes or so, so I will be back after this gets to where we need it. Okay, this is ready. I'm going to cut the heat off. This is what it needs to look like. Most of the liquid has evaporated, and we're going to let this completely cool, and then we'll move on. Okay, we're going to move on to the crust. Here I have a 9-inch cheesecake pan, a spring form pan. We are going to make the crust for this. So in my food processor, if you don't have one, you can just do it in a Ziploc bag and crush up the cookies. I am using these Hoya Chocolate Maria cookies. You can use the Oreo cookies without the cream, or you can already buy the crumbs from the graham cracker crumbs in chocolate. Okay, we're going to pulse these up. Okay, now we're going to add our sugar and our butter and pulse it in. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. It's going to feel like wet sand, just like that. Okay, now we're going to pour it into our dish here, into our spring form pan, and then just run it along evenly. And then I take the back of a measuring spoon and I press it down. Okay, and that's it for this step. We're gonna move on to the next step. All right, guys, we're gonna start the cheesecake. I'm gonna put these four bars of cheesecake in here. I've had them on the counter to come to room temperature just so they can soften up really nice. It's important that it's soft. You do not wanna overwork the batter. So we're gonna put our cheese, our cream cheese in here, and we're gonna add in our sugar, our sour cream, In the meantime, you need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. That's what I'm doing right now, okay? Our vanilla, our salt, and we're gonna give this a little whip before we add the eggs. And to the eggs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip them up. You don't wanna overbeat the batter, so give it the less amount of work that you can. Okay, these are ready. We're gonna mix this first. Okay, we're gonna stop it and we're gonna knock everything down just to make sure there's no lumps stuck anywhere. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna pop you up back to the counter. Okay, we're gonna pour our batter. We're gonna separate it into three sections so we can add the chocolate and the strawberry to each one. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just approximately. Okay, we're gonna add our strawberry filling that I've had chilling. We're gonna add it into this portion. See how thick it is? That's what you want. You don't want it runny. Okay, then we're just gonna mix it in. So this one's ready. Now we're gonna add our chocolate. I melted a bar of chocolate in the microwave. Okay, and what I did is I, I melted a bar of Ghirardelli milk chocolate in the microwave in 30 second intervals. It took me two times and I let this cool, okay? And we're gonna add in the chocolate to one of the servings here. Get every last drop. Okay, then we're gonna mix this one up. Okay, this one's mixed. Now we are going to layer. Okay, now we are gonna start layering our cake. I am going to start with the chocolate. Put the chocolate in first. I don't think it matters what layer you put first. Whatever you like. But I want the white on top, so if I want to decorate the, the cheesecake at the end, you can. You know what I So you take your offset spatula, and just swirl it around there. And last, the 
the white. It's going to be full. I'm going to uh, bake this in a water bath. So I'm going to transfer the cake into here and I'm going to move it to the oven and add the water while it's in the oven. So you don't have all the rocking from the water and spill it. You could possibly spill it. Okay, we're going to put our cake in first, nice and gently. And then we're going to put in the water about halfway up on the pan. And that's why I put the foil on there so that the water will not accidentally go into the pan and ruin our cake. Okay, we're good. 350 for about 55 to 70 minutes. I will be back in about an hour. Okay guys, it is going to take this out, but we're not actually going to take it out. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I like mine a little brown on the top so I don't cover it. But you see how it jiggles just very little? That's what you're looking for. We're going to leave it in the oven with the jar slightly ajar and we're going to turn off the heat and just leave it in there for an hour. So I'll be back after that time. Okay guys, we are back. It is actually the next day. I did place the cake in the refrigerator after it cooled completely to room temperature so that it could set up overnight. It's just easier to cut. It looks nicer. Um, and then what I do is I just take my offset spatula and release it from the sides. It, of course, this is a spring form pan, so we are going to release it. But I just like to make sure that it all comes out clean. So I'm going to release it. And it should come out nice and clean. There we go. And if you get some edges that break up, that's okay. You can just flatten them down and make it look better. Now the top, you may say, looks a little dark. I don't mind my cheesecakes coming out dark from the top. If you see that yours is getting a little too dark for you, just place a piece of... Um, foil paper on top until it continues to cook. Okay, and then what I do is I have my serving platter here, is I get a napkin and I set it on top because you still have the tray from the cheesecake. I turn it over carefully and then I release the tray. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries with different things to release it, but I don't like to leave it on. And then if you get a little bit off, that's okay. You can just put it right back. And see how easy that was? And then I pick it up. I put my tray and flip it over. And this way it's on your serving platter. And sometimes it breaks, but that's okay. No biggie. Okay, so there it is, guys. There's our Neapolitan Cheesecake. We are going to cut into this beauty right now and get us a slice. And if you want to decorate the top of it with some whipped cream, you can. That would look pretty as well. I like to cut it just like this and add the whipped cream later if somebody wants some. Make the first slice. You decide how big you want to cut your slices. And what I would recommend before you move on to the next slice is clean out your knife wipe off your knife so it makes it easier for you to get a clean slice. Sometimes they break. We just want to try to make it look as pretty as possible. Okay, and then we just scoop it up. And there you go. There's our Neapolitan cheesecake. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay guys, let's give this a taste. I put a little bit of whipped cream on top just for the decoration of it just to make it look nice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. You can really, really taste the chocolate part of it. Very creamy, rich. Let's get the strawberry side. I'm just taking out from the strawberry. You definitely know it's strawberry for sure. And then the top it's just creamy, delicious cheesecake. 
You can definitely taste all the layers in this cheesecake, guys. I hope you give it a try. It came out really, really good, I must say. Really wasn't that difficult to make, I thought. So I'm going to give this a good rating, a recipe for a must try. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. And I will leave the recipe and all the items that I used down in the description bar. But this cheesecake is delicious, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget to share with family and friends. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.